right. Tom Waits it has that, you know, Louis Armstrong kind of voice. Uh, there's a, we have some celebrities here today. I like the, and this man, first I'm going to introduce America's singing poet, Steve DePess. And uh, he was personally good friends with Louis Armstrong and his wife and has a lot of stories to tell about Louis and, uh, and, it, and it, when you were his neighbor in Queens, New York, you were also Dizzy Gillespie's neighbor, right? Correct. What a hip neighborhood. <laughs> they used to have trumpet duels from the rooftops, <laughs> Steve told me. That's Before, right, that's right, that's right. right. Yeah. And so anyway, um, Steve, we met on a cruise ship in 1990. And he was, he's 90 years old now. Wow. And he came out to hear me today. God bless him. You want to say a few words, Steve, for everybody? Awesome. And I will, if you could stand up, because I want everybody to see your suit, man. Because <laughs> check out the, check out his suit. It is so, it's so, it's like a zoot suit. It's so hip. Let everybody see your clothes. Check, check. Check, check. He got a full house, Allison. He got a full house. Yeah. Yes, and a full house. And a good, good house. Yes, and it's a good house. Look, you know something? If you take the time to gaze at your room, you're going to see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. You know what that means? What? It means in some other library, there's a room full of ugly people. <laughs> He was on the Ed Sullivan show, you know, back in the day, the Gary Moore show, Steve Allen show, right? Yeah, you got Performed it. at the White House four times for four different presidents, including JFK. And so he's, he's you know, he's been around, he's done everything. Yeah. Queen of England, performed once before wow. the Queen of England. So but, Steve DePass, look him up online to learn more about him, America's singing poet. Well, I've, I've been with a lot of and have been a lot of places. And no matter where I could have been today, for not every person would I get up on a rainy day <laughs> and put myself together. But for the Larison, it's a joy and a pleasure. Aww. And what you share with us, and what you share with us, I would, I would go and receive it time after time. time, after time. <laughs> yes. I yeah, I like every, I like everything, everything you do, everything, and the way that you do it, and, it, and it comes from, it comes from the heart, and we receive it each in our own way. You know, I don't want to take up too much of your time because I, I don't want to be rude, but it is a joy. I, I could have been on the French Riviera. Oh, I'd rather be with the Larison. And Nutley, New Jersey. That, that, that's right. That's right. You gave us 46 reasons to be here today, and I'm rooting for you. 46. Yeah. Steve Pence, America's singing poet. Check him out online. He's got a, I hope you're writing your memoir for us, Steve, or somebody's writing, helping you write them. I can't remember. You can't remember. <laughs> and we have a famous author here. Do you want to get up or not? You don't have to. Steve DePess, America's singing poet. Check him out online. I hope you're writing your memoir for us, Steve, or somebody's writing, helping you write them. I can't remember that. You can't remember. <laughs> and we have a famous author here. Do you want to get up or not? You don't have to. You don't have to get up. I'm almost older than Grange, Grange Rutan, who came to my concert at Vincent Church uh, that Dave Wilson also sponsored last year. She wrote, has written uh, now two, more, more than two books, but two books about very important uh, about the history of jazz music. And she was a former wife of a guy who grew up in Nutley named Al Haig, who was the one of the... The chosen pianist of Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker, yeah. and later Stan Getz, and Bud Powell's favorite pianist. But Larry Hunt is my favorite pianist <laughs> right now. Oh, that's, 